So I haven't posted anything to YouTube in a while. So I thought I hey, might as well post something about the Raiders reaction. Um, I'm excited right now. If you can tell by my face has a little smirk. But um, I'm in my truck right now. I'm in my vehicle. And when I get home, I'm going to go on YouTube and I'm going to look up the highlight of the game. And I'm going to kind of pause it and go back and kind of just explain what maybe the person during that play should have done. Or maybe just my you know, comments to it. Um, but right now, I'd rather speak a little more fluid and a little more confident because when I get to the house, you know, I'm going to be loud and thinking like the neighbors are going to hear me, you know, so. But, so I just had all these thoughts in my head about the game and now I got to like try to remember, but um, so this is just my my personal opinion and reaction to the game, the Monday Night Football game. I'm a Raiders fan, so I just want to talk about it for other Raiders fans that watch. Like, I do have friends that are Raiders fans and just any Raider fans in general because Ra Raiders videos generate a lot of people, you know? So, got to kind of do this quick because I don't have to do it too quick. But um, it's all close to 9 o'clock, so I want to put this video out today. But Raiders got the W. We got the win last night. I'm just a fan. I don't go and play, but I am a big fan, so I'll say we. We got the win last night, and it was a great win. It was a great win, you know, it was an amazing win. I want to rewatch the whole game, actually, probably whenever I have free time and no one's at the house, I could just watch the game by myself and just kind of, like, review it again and have a different insight because the game couldn't have started off worse, you know, with a botched snap. Um, that was early in the game. The botched snap was early in the game. There was a couple incompletions, and it was just... It just kind of, there was no momentum on the offensive side. But the defense from the jump, you know, was holding up enough the whole first half. And then Raiders were able to score. I believe the Josh, ja no, the Josh Jacobs touchdown run. He had a goal line run, I believe. I think that might have been the second half as well. I see it on the highlights, but it, it just started off pretty bad. It was very... um too many mistakes and you could even tell on the field because I was watching it with my headphones on so I was trying to really focus in and you can even tell some of the wide receivers didn't know some of the uh, check downs you know we, we got to get more um oiled up with the check downs where it's like I know what he wants you know because I think some stuff he says you got to kind of feel what he's saying you know you gotta he's, and he's changing things quick you know you tell um that's what Carr is doing, you know. He has to trust the coach's play call or the package he gives them and pick from that package, you know what I mean? So he's doing like super ultra matted, you know, he's doing all these packages in his head. and um, So I don't really want the light on for too long, but so I think it just started off like that, you know, um, our, our crowd was loud. We were very, you know, our sta the stadium was full. Now, shout out to my cousin Vince and his wife. They were at the Raider game yesterday, the very first one in Vegas. And what a win, you know, what a win for the first game ever in Vegas. It was amazing. It was kind of too good to be true. Just like if you watch the Raiders, you know, Derek Carr says he tries to stay like this, not get too excited. You know, and he's only been part of the Raiders organization for eight years. <laughs> I've been a Raider fan for 20. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I'm not excited yet. You know what I mean? So during the game, I'm like, I wasn't blaming James, um, but if was when we, we re <laughs> when we rewatched the highlights, I'm gonna go over it. And I'm gonna show you where like, what could what are the possibilities there? You know what I mean? Like, because <laughs> I think it was Edwards or one of the receivers wasn't set yet, and you hear Carr say, "Get set, get set," and then that's when um, the center snaps it. Andre James snaps it. And then I was like, oh, my goodness, uh, Derek Carr jumps on it. And then that put us out of position for even a, a field goal, I think. And I um, can't remember. But so I'm just like, oh, my God. And then but going into halftime, 14 to 10, it gave you a lot of um, gave you a lot of, OK, we're still in this game. You know, I, I, I didn't get down. You know, I didn't. I was disappointed in the sloppiness. And um, I was just like, don't get down. You know, I want to go get something to eat at halftime and then. But so, you know, just, you know, we don't really know what's wrong with Josh Jacobs. They don't really say. Um, 
I guess I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm gonna go online and check it out. Probably have to read it online. But um, they didn't, haven't said nothing on the uh, on the interviews. You know, when they post the uh, post game interviews. Um, yeah, and there, there was some great, great plays. People stepped up, man. Got to give a lot of credit to everybody who stepped up. <laughs> you know, I can't wait to go over the highlights. But um, I feel you feel better about it, you know. Lamar Jackson, like, if if, we, if this team would have just had a pocket quarterback, I think we probably would have beat him a little more, you know? It probably We probably might have just been, at, like, in control of the game, but with Lamar Jackson, and for us to be able to stop Lamar Jackson, I don't know. I got to rewatch some uh, Michael Vick, you know, highlights. I was going to say episodes, but I got to watch some old Michael Vick, um, maybe one whole game of Michael Vick. And see, like, what was his approach to the game? How was he different than Lamar? Because Michael Vick, I know, maybe would have been a little shorter, but, like, a little more stockier. But Lamar, dude, we were just able to get pressure, man. And, and this is a totally different defense. It's, like, it's fun to watch, you know? It's not, um, like, we haven't had a, a these players to, like, have the foundation for the future, you know? Like, Gruden and, and Mayock got a lot of people on a budget. You know what I mean? They got a lot of players on a small budget that are willing to work hard, young players. Even got some old-timers that, you know, the best old-timers that are good for one- or two-year contracts that are willing to take those contracts, you know? And you've seen um, Casey Hayward paid a lot yesterday. He was in there trying, doing his best to make tackles, you know, doing his best to make open field tackles, even on plays where, like, he's the last man to try to make a tackle. He was putting effort in there you know that's one thing you've seen you've seen a lot of effort you've seen effort from um, our safety i want to hurry up we've seen effort from our safety even though he's not the biggest safety but he's in there trying to make tackles which is um our rookie he, he he was there man our rookie man he played a big pivotal part of the game he was being physical i'm um, number 25 um from oregon i'm dumb not from oregon how could you say that dude what's, what's his, number 25 our rookie safety but and Abram was in there. Abram was looking not out of position. He was looking like just all in tune, you know. It was, you know, Mullen was, you know, in there doing the best he could. You know, Mullen shut down his guy. You didn't really see Mullen a lot. I think they were going away from Mullen. You know what I mean? So, um, but we were just a different physical defense, you know, and. Hope Ngakwe's okay, Yannick. Hope Yannick's good. It's just, uh, I hope some of these players that are hurt, you know, can, you know, kind of like say, you know what, I want to win this year, you know? You know, I, although I'm not 100%, I know I'm not 100% unable to play. You know what I mean? Like, fight through your injuries, you know? And, uh, yeah, so, people, you know, again. but, it's part of the game. I smoke this bowl. Come on, man. There's no better way to review than this. But um, yeah, we just what's what's the our safety's name? I feel silly. Like if I watch my rated review, I'll be talking shit about me. Like. Man, you don't even know the Raiders' safety. <laughs> uh, but dude, what did he? What, what, what callers did he come from again? Yeah, yeah. Um, Baylor, isn't it Baylor? I think it has to be Baylor. I feel like it's Baylor, but um, Jonathan Abram, even Levitt was in the game. Levitt, dude, like he must play with a lot of heart, and he must. Really listen. He must be very valuable to the coaches and very available. Because um, is it Don Donovan Levitt or Jonathan Levitt, number thirty-two? Dude, that dude was playing, and he's been with the Raiders like for five years or four years or three. Like, you know, we've had Lawson. Lawson's gone. We've had a, a young rookie we got rid of from Ohio State not too long ago. You know, Raiders have, all, Raiders have always had some some guys with a lot of hype that 
you know, came from a team or were really hyped up in college where it's like they played great, but they weren't like game changers, you know? Like a Max Crosby on the defensive line, he's a game changer. He's a game changer for real. And like I said, Yannick, I hope Yannick can find some inner strength to, you know, work through his injuries. But I don't know, what was he? I think it was like a hamstring. I hope he's okay, you know? I think he should be okay. And Solomon Thomas was in there doing his thing. He was in there on some key plays. You know, Jefferson. I just want to give my up, big ups to the team, you know? The team that played hard, you know? Ravens, man, they're physical. <laughs> they got like monsters now. Like linebackers could wear single digit numbers. So there was that number six linebacker. He was from um, Alabama. I think it's no, it's Queen. Queen from LSU. Dude, like, he looked like a monster because they have those low numbers. Because when you watch college football and there's a really big player, he stands out a lot in college football. So it kind of reminded me of college football because he looked huge. He got Derek Carr on his sack. He even got like a penalty because he pushed Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro was balling. And then obviously Humphrey, Humphrey's an animal. And then they had these, they had this like tall skinny number 99, but he was very strong and built on like 6'6", defensive end. And then they had like a 6'4", cornerback guarding Renfro and even times guarding Ruggs. And, and Humphrey was everywhere. You know what, Marcus Peters, man, them not having Marcus Peters, you know, they had a lot of people missing too, so. Raiders have to like clean up a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of stuff. And um, we did have like a decent amount of people dinged up, you know. Keelan Farrell didn't even play. And then we were we were, we we used Kenry we used Kenyon Drake a lot in between the tackles, which is pretty good because he's kind of he's a little skinnier than um than Josh Jacobs. But Josh Jacobs has some beautiful runs. You'll see it on the highlights. When I get home and I review him, Josh Jacobs had some great, uh, he had some beautiful runs. And there was great blocking on that play. Um, one of the best defensive, I mean, uh, offensive blocking plays of the whole game. And, and it was an underdog player, an underdog player who came in for Denzel Good. And shout out to Denzel Good. I apologize that he broke his ACL or he tore it. So he's out for the season. But the guy that came in stepped up and he replaced him very well. But Denzel Good was holding it down before he got injured, you know? Because in off, off when you're blocking a lot, a guy's coming from behind running. So a lot of times when, 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 when the guy's running the ball in the middle and the defense does good of closing up the hole, sometimes the running back will fall on your legs or, or your teammate might get pushed back into your legs, into your knees, may fall on the ground and, bust your knee you know make your knee go away it's not supposed to like in and break your leg or you know so, so and, and offensive linemen they're always planting they're always stepping down having to use their legs as like roots of a tree to hold their guard you know like oh so you can only imagine that you know so your knees are very vital you know being a lineman is a tough is a tough career to have you know it's a short career not for for everybody for, but for most people you know some just move on, you know, they don't want to play no more. Some don't have the longevity, the body to carry on them that long, you know. I mean, hope Incognito could come back. Gruden said he might come back this Sunday. Could always use Incognito, you know. Um, yeah, Cleveland Farrell didn't even play, and he'll be up and down that line. Um, Gruden said he was hurt, but on paper it said he was a healthy scratch. Meaning, but that's, I think that's all media hype. That's a, that's a stupid word, probably. I, uh, Gruden said no. He had, like, a back problem. You know what I mean? So I listen to the coach, you know? So, but, you know, I'm going to check the highlights, maybe speak a little more about it. But, you know, we, I was hard on, um, you know, there was a lot of throws. There was not a lot of throws, but there was throws you felt like an elite quarterbacks make, you know? But there's no such thing as a super elite quarterback. You get me? I mean... I think uh, I think we got a solid squad, man. It's gonna put up a good fight this year, you know. We're taking it game by game, you know, doing our best, and and we showed a lot of heart this game, you know. And they pulled off the win, you know what I'm saying? Against a great team that 
that, you know, that's their squad for the whole season, you know, because their injuries, their players got injured, injuries that affect them through the whole season, you know, so like that's their squad they have to use, you know, so and the Raiders have little nicks here and there and some guys that hopefully come back. You know, what's the name did his best? Number 42 for the Raiders, the ex Rams, um, Corey Littleton. You know, he's a scrappy dude. You know, there's times where he doesn't do very well on run blocking because he's not really a run stopper. And, um, you know, and Nick Kwiatkowski, you know, they caught us on some good plays, the Ravens. And I'm going to obviously show that on the highlights. Like, what was a great play about that? That was just a great throw by, um, great throw and great Willie Mays catch by Sammy Watkins. Shout out Sammy Watkins. I think he was the ex receiver for the Chiefs. Super Bowl champion, I believe. Um, now he's with the Ravens, and the, the Ravens had a good matchup. They had a wide receiver on a, uh, not really known for, um, being great in pass coverage of a linebacker, which was Nick Kwiatkowski, he used to play for the Bears. A great run stopper, you know, a little slower, so they had a wide receiver, and it was a disadvantage for the Raiders, but he was there, it was just a, a really a really smart throw, because a quarterback could have panicked and like just threw it up and threw it too far, but he's like, no, I'm gonna throw it over him, but enough where he could maintain ground so he could, he could see it and he could track it and he could catch it, and it was a beautiful throw by Lamar Jackson. He had some great throws, and but he he had some bad throws at key times where like where you can say that you know his focus was a little off. It was like a little lazy incompletions sometimes he had. Um, and a lot of those turnovers that he had, Raiders actually just they 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 had players that were aggressive enough to go for the ball. Like when he ran in the Jefferson, you know our defensive tackle was there. You know, it's like one of those moves where you make a cut one way and the guy's already kind of automatically there. So Jefferson poked the ball out. Then obviously that one that Carl Nassib did at the end, which was a great, great play. And, and I'm gonna, I, it was a dope play to recognize, like, because there was a blitz coming from the Raiders mm -hmm. and the running back for the um, Ravens. He, uh, I mean, he would have seen Nassib coming if, if he didn't, he kind of did a, a if we were just blitzing one man, if we were just blitzing Hobbs from the corner and not and not um it, it was it was an odd play because they had Nassib, who's a defensive end, on the same side as Crosby, who's a defensive end. But they had Nassib like as soon as the ball was about to be snapped, like he went all the way he went on the other side of Crosby. Kind of similar to the blitz Hobbs was doing, like where you kind of blitzing from a linebacker position. And by the time, like I said, Williams, the running back for the Ravens, he did a good job picking up Hobbs. But he, but by the time he noticed Hobbs wasn't going to get there, and he looks to the right, and Nassib was already in his face. So he looks, Nassib's running him over, and Nassib's over there poking the ball out from Lamar Jackson, and that's how we get that sack. And, and Nassib, you'll see on the highlights, Nassib's actually a big dude. He's bigger than Crosby. Obviously slower than Crosby, but he's big. He's like... We look like a robotic. We look freaking strong, you know? And uh, you'll see, you'll see. And, um, yeah, so, but that team is difficult. They, they had a big defensive line. They stopped us on the one goal yard line. <laughs> Even after Leatherwood, you know, the rookie, shot to the rookie, his first NFL pro game ever. He did very well. I'm not sure if he gave up a sack, you know, or not, but Derek Carr, he got sacked, but I mean, there was no um, turnovers off the sacks, you know. Derek Carr was smart. With, he was just lucky, I guess I would say. Fortunate enough, you know? you know. That's what happens when you're a running quarterback. A lot of times you have that ball out there, you know. And your thought process is not even on holding the ball. Your thought process is of juking somebody. You're getting open or, you know, or getting getting more yards, you know. So, you know, so a lot of times it happens when you're trying to get extra yardage. That's when someone come from behind and hit the ball out of your hand, you know? And um, so, we're, you know, it's been a while since the Raiders were able to, to like, <laughs> to get takeaways, you know? To get takeaways, get sacks, you know? It was just beautiful. This one, Yannick, Yannick was getting in there, man. Yannick's a beast. He looks big when he's in there. 
And we need Yannick. That's what I'm saying. Like, I hope Yannick could just give us a little extra and, like, come on, we need you, you know? And you could just overlook his injury or something, you know? And just, you know? So it was a beautiful first game. Like I said, I get even killed. Like, I've been a Raider fan so long that, it, you know, you, you, you know, like, ah, I still see a little bit of tendencies, but it's a team game, you know? I finally got some players to give, to give, um, car you know support you know what i mean unfortunately in the nfl you um the quarterback he's the first one usually to go you know what i'm saying the quarterback is usually the first one to go you know but in Derek's case he was the man he he he's shown some potential of a greatness you know at in his younger years when he took us to the playoffs you know even and he's looked good enough even when we've had shitty years where it's like you know he, He's good enough. Like, he's good enough. You could just get him some support. You could get him a team, you know? Look look at Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers only won one. And ever since then, yeah, he's gone to the playoffs. Yeah, he's done enough. You know what I'm saying? People want to come play with him. And I think that's where Derek Carr is at. People want to come play with a good quarterback that there's enough there. You know what I'm saying? If I could get open for him, he's going to get it to me. You get what I'm saying? So I think Derek Carr was like, there was like, a, he got there like young enough where, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just Derek Carr is like, it was fortunate enough, you know what I mean? Fortunate enough. It's hard to explain. Like, some quarterbacks, they would have already been replaced. You get me? But the Raiders have been through so many quarterbacks these, like, years and years. So, it's like when there's one that shows, you know, enough, you know what I mean? And it was just a good win. <clears throat> there was, I mean, all this talk all week about them having injuries and them losing a lot of good players. And it was like, you know... All about Lamar. Lamar, he played a heck of a game. You could not ask Lamar for any more. He, he was a super. He was the best person on that on that field. He was, he, he was incredible. And and um, but Raiders had enough. You know, if it was a must win for the Raiders in that circumstance. Them saying you no, know, they don't have their certain guys and stuff like that. So this is a must win. You know, it was, it was a great win. And um, and I'm so excited for this next week's game. I'm so excited for this next week's game um, against the Steelers. It's going to be such a great game. You know, they got Najee Harris. They still have Connor, I believe. They have Ben Roethlisberger. They have um, Juju Smith-Schuster. You know, they got a great defense. You know, they got a great defense himself. Um, and um, it's going to be such a great game. And now we're going into Pittsburgh, baby. Man, that's like playing at you know, if you're a baseball fan playing Yankee Stadium or playing at the Cubs Stadium or playing at, you know, the Green Monster, you know, that's like, you know, there's playing like these, 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 um, you know, these, um, these gems, these artifacts of sports, you know? I mean, it's like fighting at Madison Square Garden or fighting at MGM Grand or, you know what I mean? Fighting in your hometown is a, you know, it's like amazing. Fighting in Vegas sold out, you know, Mayweather style where you're coming in, you know, running, run, walking to the ring, you know. I like that old Showtime, HBO style, where it's like simple, and it was like a simple little walkway, and all the fans could just like, you know, just seem more enclosed in, you know. Now it is like top rank and stuff, they kind of do it where it's kind of separated. Where like, it's like kind of like a, just a wall with like moving, shows like your name on it. I like that old, like, you know, Canelo fights, you know, like, and just walk right into the ring and say, like, everybody's like, Shah. you know, they can almost touch you, you know, just with your robe on. They're going to the ring and just packed everywhere, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, it was a great win. It was a great win. It was a great win for the Raiders. It was a great first game, you know? Football is just difficult, man. Next week, I'm going to be like, what the heck happened? Too many turnovers and but um can't wait to show the highlights right now. I gotta hurry up and go. It's twenty four damn minutes. Jeez. But um you know injuries are gonna happen throughout this game. Throughout, you know. Ends out good, Tornicia, that's bad, you know, it's it's kinda sucks. It sucks, you know. Josh Jacobs not looking like he could he could go every down, you know what I mean? That's kind of so hoping some of these guys can fight through injuries and be available, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
There was a lot of cramping up in the game. It's the first game. A lot of these players don't play a lot of preseason. And for sure, they don't play enough. Imagine just having to go play the whole game all of a sudden. I mean, that's why it's good to really simulate practice. You know, you really, in practice, you really got to do your best to simulate. Like, even if it's just running, like, all right, guys, we're going to run. We're doing live reps. We're live reps. Like, we're really playing here. We're really playing, you know? Even if we're not hitting nobody or anything, you just really got to go. Really going. Down in distance. 40. You got 40 seconds. Hurry. Let's go. Let's go. I think Raiders got one, one or maybe two delay games. I'm not sure, but I mean, as a fan of football, it's pretty fun. I like the way the Raiders play. Like they're always pretty much like checking down, and it's kind of interesting the way they play on the defensive side. More like kind of like pay attention more to the offense. I've been paying attention more to the defense. Uh, so they move so fast. As soon as they say hike and stuff like that, you know. But you can see, you can tell in the beginning that the penetration is there. Like, are we getting a rush? Are we getting a rush? I was, I was peeping an eye on Max Crosby a lot and um, um, Yannick, Yannick and Gakwe, and just the whole pressure. Like, you know, they stood out to me. And um, yeah, it was just a good game. It was just a good game. We gotta hurry up and go take a shower and show you guys the highlights and put this video up. Peace.